it is fall in Vermont. We are going to be riding around the northern edge of the Green Mountains today and heading up to Smuggler's Notch State Park. And we're going to be going through Smuggler's Notch on, I think that's 108 or whatever it is, through the very twisty part of the notch where tractor trailers get stuck every year. It's a very scenic ride, probably one of the prettiest rides in the whole state. And then when we get on the stow side of Smuggler's Notch, we will be at the Smuggler's Notch campground, and we're going to camp there for the night. Have a little moto camping adventure. Got the food pack, the camp chairs, the hammock. I got it all. Brought all the gear with me. It's a lot easier to pack stuff when you're not going all the way across the country to Sturgis. I got the big sleeping bag and sleeping pack because it's going to be down to upper 40s tonight, maybe even chillier up in the mountains. Trees are starting to hit peak color this week. We got some great reds and oranges in here. It's going to be even better at higher elevation. This is still sitting around, oh, what are we at here? Currently sitting at around 1,200 feet of elevation. I believe the state park campground is a little bit higher than that. So the color should be excellent up on Mount Mansfield. Tallest peak in Vermont, Smuggler's Notch Campground is at the base. And if you guys are interested, I have a new website. I'll mention it a few times in some upcoming videos. If you guys are interested in going to the same state park campground that I am and hitting this part of New England this fall, I have a link below in the description and in my top pinned comment to my website. And I will link it to the page on my website discussing the state park, the campground. I have maps on there. This video will be there. A uh, helpful guide to the area as well as some interactive maps that I've created along with the Green Mountain Club maps and trail guides for the area. So I'm trying to put this website together for you guys every time I release one of these videos. A new page on the website will go live with it, providing you with information about where I was, how to get there, a nice interactive Google map for the area so you can just download that, send it to your phone, or send it to your motorcycle and have the file ready to go. Smuggler's Notch is absolutely beautiful. The history of the notch goes back to President Jefferson after the Revolutionary War. Smugglers would run goods down from Canada, hide them in the notch, and then it came back into use again during Prohibition. They would smuggle and hide booze up there in the notch up in the caves. And now it's a state park. You can go up and explore those old caves and hiding areas. Very pretty. It's situated between what you're seeing in front of you, which is Smuggler's Notch Ski Resort, on the west side of the greens, or I guess the north side rather. And then once you go through the notch, you have Stowe Ski Resort on the other side. And the state park is just kind of sandwiched between those. Here's a good look straight up Madonna at Smuggler's Notch, right up to the peak. Actually, the peak is beyond that bump. You can't quite see it. Some of the best skiing in all of Vermont right here. There you go, chicane ahead. If you don't fit, use the truck turnaround. And yet somehow people felt so entitled to go around the chicane and get stuck in the notch anyway. Unbelievable. They used to enact fines. There still is a fine if you got stuck in the notch. This thing is temporary this year. Tractor trailer went around that on the wrong side. First week this was open after the snow was cleared in the springtime and got himself stuck. You just can't fix stupid. of great hiking up in here like I mentioned before about my website I have trail maps on there from the Green Mountain Club you guys can access them through my site as well as the Green Mountain Club's website I will have all that linked 
lots of great hiking, great waterfalls up in here. It's an absolutely spectacular state park. Green Mountain Boys do a lot of training up in there, rock climbing, rappelling, rescue training. Up on these cliff faces on the north side of Mount Mansfield. That's a great view up there. So that was the hairpin turn in the notch that has foiled many a tractor trailer. The downhill side here now going down into Stowe is a little messed up. They haven't paved it or fixed it in several years, so if you're on a motorcycle, use caution. It's a very short little spot, but it's very, very scenic, and there's lots of hiking trails that go up to the mountains from in Smuggler's Notch State Park, from up at the parking lot, and there's several different uh, parking areas up there, and lots of them have little trails that go right by. This brook goes through here, usually has a lot more water, but it has been dry for several weeks here. It has a bit more water in it down here. And finally, we come to that chicane on the Stowe side of 108. As you come out the bottom of 108 there on the Stowe side, you have the gondola that crosses the road here for Stowe Ski Resort. Take you from one side of the resort to the other. If you don't feel like hiking all the way to the top of Mount Mansfield, you guys can take the gondola almost all the way to the top, have lunch up there at the gondola house, and then from there, you can hike up the rest of the way to the summit. Is it cheating? Yes. Is it fun? Also yes. Coming up on Smuggler's Notch State Park here, well, the, the whole thing is the state park, but the campground section. 
we're coming up on here should be here yes yes here we go We are all checked in. Active bear in campground. Smokey, we might get to see Smokey. Oh, yep, this is me, site number two. Okay, this will be interesting. Oh, what a nice day here. Welcome to Smuggler's Notch State Park Campground. Really nice fireplaces. The camp pad has been raked. Like this has all been raked and cleaned up. You can even see the groove marks. So when people check out, where they know people are coming in, you have a reservation for a campsite, they clean up the campsites really nice. Everything's clean, prepared, and behind us we got a brook, so we've got a little background noise here. It's a beautiful place.
camp is all set up. Got my sleeping pad and my sleeping bag all ready. My Eno hammock. REI camp chair. Blanket. Got some firewood. I love these old fireplaces. They were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the early 1900s when they built the new Smuggler's Notch State Park campground over here. They took them apart carefully, brought them over, reassembled them piece by piece, preserved them. Turn the gas on. It has a built-in ignition system. And let's crank it wide open. It's a beautiful morning in Smuggler's Notch. We're all packed up. We're going to head down to Bingham Falls, head out to the waterfall for a little bit, and then we'll head back. After a nice hike down to Bingham Falls, we're headed back up through the notch, headed northbound now. 
guys can see the clouds hitting the top of Mount Mansfield this morning. There's a good look right there at the notch, the really sharp edge of the cliff and the turn behind it. Smuggler's Notch is kind of difficult to actually see from the ground. There's not many good viewing points of the physical notch itself, unless you get up high on like uh, Stowe or Spruce Peak area, then you can kind of look over into it or over at Smugs. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed the scenic moto camping trip. If you have any questions about where I went, ask away down below. And also remember my website will have, oh good grief, there's so many bumps here. My website will have all of that information, including interactive maps, GPS files, and some history and information on where I was. This is just the best time to live in New England. This is why I enjoy living up here. I take issue with it for a lot of other reasons, but fall is the best time to live up here. It is awesome. So I'm going to try to get some great videos for you guys before the bike goes away for the winter time. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button. That helps us crack the YouTube algorithm and get this video out to more people. The more thumbs up it gets, the more YouTube shares it and puts it in people's feeds. If you're new here and you feel I've earned it, please subscribe. Click the bell icon, you'll get notified when there are new videos to watch here on Motorblade. I try to drop a new video at least once a week, sometimes twice a week. Everything from test rides to moto camping, trips around the country, national parks, and just riding my motorcycles, having fun. Thank you guys again so much for watching all the way to the end. Until next time, be careful, ride safe, ride on. I'll catch you on the next video. Deuces.